introduce myself. Um, my name is Dennis uh, Stelberger from uh, Scott Automation in, in Germany and I will um, today do a small presentation to present um, um, just briefly about Scott and then we will move on to, to Bladestop um, in, in, in detail. So um, I will, will start the presentation now. Um, Scott is an, uh, more than a 100 year old uh, company um, so started in, in uh, 1900 as a family company and in um, 1990 Scott was um, listed on the um, New Zealand Stock Exchange and um, so in the upcoming years from uh, 2000 to 2080 we um, acquired several um, companies uh, with uh, different um, business uh, um, orientations so I will come to it um, uh, later so um, Scott is a, a worldwide uh, company with a worldwide footprint so we do have um, sites in, um, in New Zealand, which are our, our headquarters, is in um, uh, Dunedin. Uh, then have also sites in uh, Australia, China, Americas, and in Europe. Um, we have more than 600 uh, employees um, at Scott Worldwide, and it's actually uh, a growing uh, growing company. So our our product brand. Um, I start with uh, Rock Labs. Rock Labs is um, actually a, a mining company which um, builds uh, like laboratory equipment, so automated um, um, crushers for rocks to analyze the um, 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 the, the, the composition of the of the rocks to see what um, materials are in in it for instance then we have our robot works which is actually our industrial automation so robot works is specialized uh, with robots robot applications uh, welding but also palletizing and so on let me introduce you to blade stop um, Bladestop is a, a multi-award winning um, unique design machine uh, which was actually um, um, developed uh, in a time period of 12 years. So it took us actually 12 years until we had a product which was ready for market. So there is a, a lot of uh, developing and, and telling time was involved in the process and in the meantime we have um, more than 1,200 units worldwide um, in, in operation. The operators um, are feeling much more comfortable and safe with our technology. Um, it's it's uh, yeah, a lot safer for them and um, they actually have a, a workplace and an environment where they can be sure that, um, they go home without having uh, any injuries. All right. Um, so blade stop and and glove check. Um, we do have two sensing systems um, on on our blade stop bands. So the the first and, and primary system is our body sensing. Um, which I will explain a bit later, uh, more in detail. 
and we have the glove check system, which is the, um, the camera system which monitors upstream the blade, uh, an area um, for actually yeah, the, the glove. Yeah. Okay, um, so we have several customers who uh, recorded actually the, um, the um, number of incidences after the machines were installed. Yeah, we have um, customers, they had five years, um, the, the blades of machines in operation, and they had actually zero serious injuries um, since then, um, which is actually um, a huge benefit for the company and even more uh, for the operator and yeah by the way uh, it's just a, a, a good side um, effect you have um, you have actually um, reduce your premiums right so um, you can actually say with uh, with one incident um, avoided uh, you have uh, paid uh, for for everything uh, with uh, with this uh, technology um, <coughs> so let's come to uh, how blade stop works so um, we have um, number one our unique break uh, blade break uh, mechanism uh, which uh, stops the blade within a fraction of a second um, the body sensing uh, as already mentioned is our primary system which is the um, I like to, to say it's the, the airbag of uh, like in a car yeah? so, and the, the glove check vision system is more like a seat belt so um, you can put it on yeah, but uh, also you can't so then you're not protected by the seat belt but the airbag will definitely open in, in, uh, in a case of a crash so we have a, a, a micro controlled um, uh, based control system for really fast uh, action. So uh, to be able to stop in, 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 um, in average out in 10 milliseconds, right? So um, blade stop and glove jack combined is actually the, the best and safest solution you can get on the market. Um, for instance, risk with a camera system only. Um, if, you, if you work with a, with a bandsaw, uh, you have uh, often uh, primals you need to, to, to grab underneath uh, to, to, to cut, yes? And um, this is actually the, uh, the, the high risk you have. You, you are operating the bandsaw and you do not see your, um, your, your ditches, right? And um, this is where mostly uh, you, you have the, the accidents um, when the hand is obscured by, by the product. And so in, in short, that means a camera-based system only can never ever protect you against the injury. Uh, so it's, uh, it's like a lottery if you, if you have only a, a blade, um, a, a glove check uh, or a camera-based system. Um, so what protects you 100% um, is the body sensing and that means your entire body, not only your fingers, also your arm, your shoulder if you like and so on. So um, let's move on. Um, what is a, a key thing is the PPE, so the personal protective equipment. So to make blades of work, uh, you need to isolate yourself from the saw. Yeah? So you, you're having the, the body sensor, so number one shows the body sensor. It has two uh, metal contacts, which you uh, wear around your waist on your bare skin. So it's like um, there is a, a small uh, tension, a small current going through, um, which uh, monitors your, your body. Right. So, um, and with the gloves uh, you see here from two, three, four, um, you isolate yourself from the machine. And in case um, glove check would not um, uh, recognize the glove because it would be underneath, um, and you touch the blade uh, with your skin, we trigger the mechanism and the blade is stopped. Right. So, 
Additionally, number five, our um, arm sleeves uh, protect you um, uh, even with, uh, with glove check. Yeah? So that means um, you're, you are uh, protected by glove check as well up, up the arm. So um, blade sub requires a year service um, of the braking mechanism and also the, um, the condition of the saw itself. So this is um, um, actually executed from Scott or its uh, partners and distributors. Right, so um, uh, it's for safety, right, and it's like with a car, you do actually every one or two years, you, you bring it to service to have a checkup to be sure the saw is, is working properly. So thank you very much for your attention. So um, let's move on to, to the machine itself. So I, I will um, quickly um, explain um, it on the machine how it works. So um, here on the, on the right side, we, we do have our braking mechanism, which um, stops mechanically the blade, right? And um, here is the glove check uh, camera inside, which um, monitors this um, specific um, um, area in front of the blade, right? So as soon as I um, come into this area here, um, it, the, the blade will be stopped by, by check. As soon as you touch the, bla uh, the blade with your skin, um, blade stop will trigger and uh, both actually will uh, trigger the, the mechanism. So um, the, the noise you are hearing now is actually um, the charging of um, our braking mechanism. So it works with um, pneumatics, not with um, hydraulics. Um, so we, we intensify the, um, the air um, to, to um, about 40 bars in, in our system. So um, this here is the uh, body sensor. It's um, actually this little sensor you wear on your skin and the machine got su uh, supplied with um, a belt. You actually can click on the sensor to it um, already in your, in your dressing room. Put it on, of course, on your skin, under your clothes, and then you are ready to go. Um, okay. So, um, I will now log on to the machine. So I connect myself, I touch the table, I show the glove, and now the display um, says test for, for the 14th of July. So every day we need to perform uh, a test of our system. What means um, you can actually set up uh, the test time uh, which could be a uh, start of production um, at 4 or 5 o'clock, something around uh, this. And um, the operator needs to stop the saw uh, by glove check or um, by, by touching the table. Then we measure the time, and if the time um, matches what we require, then you can start operating the saw for the whole day uh, in the next 24 hours, then you need to, to repeat this. Um, now we, we need to perform the test, so um, maybe it's something by sight. Um, this, this machine does have a, um, a pneumatic blade guard, what means the um, protection around the blade is moving automatically if you come um, in, in front of the uh, blade, uh, blade stop. So I just show you here, this here is um, uh, safety mat, yeah, and when you step on it, the, the, the blade guard will move upwards. So this ensures actually in production um, that even third uh, persons are, are protected um, when, they, when they're moving around in production while the blade is running. So I will trigger the saw now with a uh, wheel off check. So look. OK, 
Okay, so um, sorry, maybe I shocked you. <laughs> I should have said, <laughs> tell you before it's um, it's um, yeah, it's it's a bit noisy, but um, you see um, the 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 glove does not even have uh, a scratch. So um, when the test is performed, um, the saw is now ready to run. Um, uh, so with pressing start, I can start the saw. Um, what I now will do, um, I will now trigger the uh, blade stop system by touching the table. So I have now touched the table and the sensing system recognized me and stopped the blade as well. So this is the primary system again. Um, when I cut something um, and the product does cover my glove, it cannot see my glove, blade stop will save me. Yeah, um, I just will now um, show you what, what it means again. Um, I, will, I will start the saw and when I put my hand here, the camera can't see it. So when I move in, it does not stop, all right? Ah, <laughs> now, now I touch the table. So um, actually, here, at this point, glove check will already trigger, okay? I think we can now start the question. Um, if there are.